Was that TMI? If you're watching on visual, you're like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> okay. Um, hi, everyone. Welcome back to Was That TMI? I just actually started this episode, filmed five minutes of it, and then realized that I completely had my timeline wrong and I have brain fog from being drunk for the past four fucking days. So I restarted. But if you guys are watching on visual or listening on audio, if you're listening on audio, let me just tell you what visual people can see. I'm back in the same spot I was at last week, which, or no, two weeks ago, but I haven't filmed since then. Honestly, though, I really like this setup. Like, I kind of want this to be like the setup. But like I can't do that because this is not my car. We're back in the Tesla, bitches. We're back in the Tesla, and I'm back in LA. I haven't filmed an episode since the last one, which was here in LA. And I went home, and I went over to Destin, which was like an hour and a half from my house. And then I went back home, and then I went to Illinois. No, then I went to Ohio, drove to Illinois, and now I'm back in fucking hell. So don't know how that worked, but it did. I'm gonna tell you all about it, guys. Welcome back to Was That TMI, where we tell the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth. I'm your host, Sadie Crowell. I met a lot of fans this weekend. And that's um, someone who works in my studio. <laughs> I met a lot of fans this weekend. And guys, let me just say, so when I filmed my podcast episode with Hannah Maloach, I was like, oh, I've been watching you for so long. And I was like, wait, how do you pronounce your last name? And people were like, does anyone else find it really fucking sus that, like, Sadie said she just watched her for a while but doesn't even know her last name? No one knows how to say my fucking last name. Everyone says Crowell, Kroll. People think it's Crowell, Sadie Crowell, which I don't give a fuck. I'm like, call me what you want. But I just thought it was funny because I met so many fans at this festival thing I was just at. And everyone was like, how do you say your last name? I just found that kind of funny and, like, ironic. So I was like, yeah, see? They, like, are fans, but they don't know how to say it. So, fuck whoever commented that. Just kidding. Guys, how are we? How are we doing? How is everything? Run down really quickly from last episode. I flew home from LA, got home, went to bed, woke up the next morning, went and got my hair done, which you can't even really tell I got it done, but it's okay. We're not going to focus on that right now. Um, it was a kind of a rough time at home. I don't know why. I was going through... The last night I was here in LA, I had a huge fucking mental breakdown, and it's because... It's because I literally freak myself out so badly to the point of not getting shit done. Like, if I don't have a video for YouTube, I freak out. But if I have a video for YouTube and I don't have a podcast, I freak out. Or if I don't have new merch coming out, or if fucking sun, I'm not promoting Sunkiss by Sadie, or just all the pieces that play into shit. And then I'm like, oh shit, I haven't talked to this person in a while. I feel bad. I need to give them my time. I just freak the fuck out and I start pushing away everyone around me due to it. Like if I go home and I visit my hometown in Georgia and I'm hanging out with my friends, I'll freak out and be like, okay, I can't do that anymore. I'm sorry. I love you guys. But like, I need to go home so I can like get shit done. And Kelly actually calmed me the fuck down. And she was like, Sadie, you're 19 years old. You're allowed to have like a life and friends and go have fun. And she was like, and if you didn't do that, people probably wouldn't even enjoy watching you as much. So, like, stay fucking normal and don't force yourself to work all the time and freak out. Kelly's actually really good with that shit. She, I I wrote down what she said. She goes, remember what you tell everyone else that life is short and enjoy every day and you don't worry about the things you can't control. And I was like, facts. But why do you have to, like, shoot me with my own fire? Like, what the fuck, mom? But, no, I agree. Life is short and the biggest thing you have to just try and focus on is like being happy and surrounding yourself with people who make you happy and people that you can make happy and you know as hard as it is and like way easier said than done don't stress about what's to come like it's I don't know that's I do that so much I'm such an overthinker even though I might not seem like it I am and it literally happened on the plane ride yesterday to LA like I was sitting there And I was with BF and I just started fucking crying. And I was like, fuck, like, and I just started thinking about my life and what I'm doing. And is this wrong? And he was like, Sadie, you literally preach like God has a plan and it's all going to be okay. Like, it's fine. And then I was like, okay, you're right. I don't know. I think it's the ADHD in me still. I think my ADHD just makes me spiral. And once my brain's stuck on something, I can't get out of it. So who knows? Maybe I'll go see if I need a prescription for that. I don't think I will do it but like maybe it would help a little bit we're not talking about that okay um (laughs) okay so i did chill out 
when I was in LA last and then I did go out the last night so it was like after I had filmed the episode and when I tell you guys that it's literally a different dimension and there's I do believe that there is places you can go here in Los Angeles the city of devils and it's normal and you meet normal people and I'm not saying that like if someone's weird that's not okay like everyone's weird in their own way but when I tell you that you do meet some people that you don't think are actually real like you literally like there's no way that was actually a person I was just talking to I truly sometimes am being completely serious when I say that like sometimes you just meet people and I mean I guess it can happen in any part of the world I just experienced it really out here where I like you know to go to a party if I'm gonna walk in and be around people who are drinking I want you like that's why people pregame because like you want to have a little bit of that in you before you like go into the social setting or like people do drugs or whatever I could honestly go to the party and not eat any of that because I'm just so fascinated with the way things are out here like I'm just like and I mean I'm not even I'm not gonna say even if that's positive or negative I'm just like wow this is really, this is really interesting and I don't even need to be drunk to be here. You either can do it sober and just be like, wow, or you're like, let me fucking black out, please, right now. I really do. I sometimes think like, maybe I'll just move to LA for a month and see, like, just try it for a month. And you know, y- no, <laughs> I'm not doing that because I'll fucking lose my mind. But I don't know. People have different opinions on it. Some people love it. And if you do, I get it. I think maybe I just haven't hit the right crowd, but I've hit actually not a lot. I just don't know what crowd to hit. I'll figure it out maybe one day. Um, came home from LA, stopped at the Dallas airport. Let me just say, I hate connecting flights because it's just fucking annoying, but I will take Dallas anytime because the Dilfs in Dallas, you know, that crew neck I made that Dilf me down in Dallas. That was kind of just like, I thought it was cute. Oh no, it's fucking true. I was walking through that bitch and I was like, you're hot, you're hot, smash, dilf. Like, not really. But like, you know, you see a dilf and you're just like, damn, where's your milf? Like, fuck. That was happening in Dallas. I was like, damn. Um, I'm just reading through like what I had written down. <laughs> a week ago, I didn't know what heaven looked like, but of Wednesday when my plane touched down at 1 p.m., I can now say I've seen it and it's beautiful. Me talking about the Dallas airport. I was literally on the plane like writing out this whole thing. Oh shit. Hello. City. Hi. What are you doing? Recording my podcast. What are you doing? Can, can they hear me right now? Mm-hmm. What up? What's that TMI pod? Do you want to announce the guest next week? Sadie wants me to hop on that shit. Um, and I'm going to fold and I'm going to do it. He's coming on, guys. Okay, anyways, fuck the whole LA shit. That was honestly too long ago, my last trip out here to even remember, like, whatever the fuck happened. I just know I went home, I slept for, like, five fucking hours, went and got my hair done, and, okay, so fucking funny, actually. I completely forgot about this, but this is just, like, this is why I believe in God, and just, like, everything happens for a reason, and it's crazy. Small world, whatever. So, if you guys know my friend Bailey Dedrick... Dedrick is how you say your last name, but I say Dedrick. See, I'm fucking bad at last names. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Bailey Dedrick, I, she does YouTube and, um, she also has a podcast now. She's like probably, no, she is definitely the closest girl I know in like so- the social media world and we just get along great and I love her. I actually just saw her, but we're going to get into that. And so we told the story on, was that TMI, the episode she was on, it was about a year ago, I want to say now. Um, we told the story of how we first met and I had never talked to her online. Not like no bullshit. I didn't even know who she was. Like I, at the time I had no idea. And I was walking in Florida in Destin, which is like an hour and a half from my house. It's where all my friends in Florida lives. If you see me on like boats and shit, I'm with those kids. And so I was in Florida. We were going to the bar that night. Literally we're walking to the bar and some girl's like, Sadie. And I'm like, hi. And she was like a super cute girl. And I just thought it was like a fan, like someone who watched my shit. I'm like, hi. And she was like, wait, like, do you know me? And I was like, oh no, I don't think so. And then I was just like, so nice to meet you. And I don't even think we took a picture or anything. Then later that night, same girl comes down to like the little bar slash club, whatever the fuck we were at. And she's there with, like, her mom and her boyfriend, and she was taking pictures. And, like, nothing was clicking for me, probably because I was fucking drunk. But the next day, the girl I was with 
at not the friend so one of the friends that I was with at the bar was like hey Sadie do you know that girl last night that was taking pictures with you does YouTube and I was like wait what and they showed me her she had a picture in like my what's up fucker sweatshirt and that's how me and Bailey met like Bailey had seen me online before she had bought my merch and she saw me in Florida I was like saying hi but like dude props to fucking Bailey she never was like oh I'm a YouTuber too like she was just like oh yeah I love you like fucking I love her and we literally just met through that. I, like, DM'd her, and I was like, wait, what the hell? I had no idea you did YouTube. Like, that's so funny. And we just were friends ever since. Telling that story, because I went and got my hair done, pretty much, like, in the Destin area near there. And um, me and Kelly were driving around after. We went shopping, and we were debating on getting tacos from this place, and there was a fuck ton of traffic, and we were like, eh, maybe, maybe not. And then we passed the place, and we were like, you know what, let's just go back and get tacos. Like, let's just go do it. We're over here. So we go back to get tacos, and I'm standing in line to order at the bar, and I look in front of me, and it's Brooke Bush. If you guys don't know who that is, it's a YouTuber. And, like, we've talked over the phone before. We're, like, friends online, but I've never met. And I literally just go, are you kidding me? And I, like, pull her arm, and she's like... And, like, she was, like, oh, my God, that just freaked me out so bad. I didn't know what was going on. And I'm, like, how, like, what a small world. First of all, she's from Kentucky, doesn't even live in Florida. She was down there with her friends. But I was just, like, that's so crazy that just, like, how small of a world it is. Like, she just happened to be there at that taco place at the same time as me. I don't know. It was just weird. Really weird. But she's so cute. I love her. She's actually really, like, tiny in person. She was adorable. So, I had, like, three days before I just went to this event called Tailgates and Tallboys. It was in Bloomington, Illinois. I had never been to Illinois in my life. Didn't even know really where the fuck that was. And, um, we had gotten invited a while ago with- I got invited with, like, the cowboy kids. It was, like, me, Creesh, Kaden- Kristen and Whitney were going to come, if you guys know that they are, I don't know, some of you guys might not know these people at all, but we all got invited to go to this event, I was like, I'm down, that seems fun, BF was actually performing there, so I was like, oh my god, like, when worlds collide, that's fucking great, and so, this was planned for like a while, well of course, I'm planning it with like, 10 guys, and no guy has any idea what's ever fucking going on when it comes to planning shit, and they just like, can throw their shit in a bag and get on a fucking plane or their car and go. Well, you know, I, people think I'm like, go with the flow. I need some sort of plan. Like I'm actually like a little bit of like, wait, how is this going to work? How is that going to work? And so I had called Tyler hearing, if any of you guys know who that is, I think he's been in like some of my, has he been on a podcast? No, he hasn't. He was going to come on. I had called Tyler. He's like one of my good friends that lives up in Alabama and he's also friends with this group that I was going to this festival with. And I was like, hey, Tyler, do you want to come with me to the festival? And he was like, oh, yeah, like, I'll go. Like, that seems fun. And I'm like, okay, cool. So he was in Nashville for CMA Fest, which I'm so pissed I miss. I'm so mad. Um, that's, like, Country Music Award Festival in Nashville. It's just, like, live music, I think, all week or something. I don't really know. I wanted to go meet um, Christy Howard. Is that her last name? I could be fucking that up. I'm so bad with this. Anyways, Chrissy, she does TikTok. Um, I was going to meet her there, and I wound up not going just because the sinus infection was, like, still kind of kicking my ass. I just wanted to stay home and, like, get tan and just, like, chill out for a minute. And it was actually raining, so God bless Sunkiss by Sadie because that was the only way my face got tan. I'm wearing it right now because it's cloudy in L.A. L.A. What was I saying? Tyler was in Nashville for CMA Fest, and he was like, pick me up in Nashville, and we're going to drive to Bloomington, Illinois, for this festival. That's like 15 hours, but I'm like, you know what? If I can make it the 6 to Nashville, which I'm, like, I'm good at fucking driving. I could be a truck driver if I wanted to. It sounded like I said I could be a drunk driver if I wanted to. Don't drink and drive, kids. Um, I was like, all right, I'm going to come to Nashville, pick you up, and we're going to fucking book it to Illinois, and we're going to have a good, fun road trip. We've done a road trip before, and we, we've done multiple road trips before, now that I think about it, and we kill them. We love them together. They fly by. We're like, we're going to be fine. It's good. Illinois is going to be fun. We got it. Well, he calls me like two days before we're supposed to be going, and he's like, hey, I'm heading back down to Tuscaloosa because I can't, like, something... I think he was, like, doing something with, like, this house he was buying. I don't really know. He said he had to go home to sign papers for it. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Then calls me 
the day before we're supposed to leave, and I'm not mad at him, so Tyler, if you're hearing this, I love you, I'm not mad at you, but he's like, yo, um, you know, I'm really, really busy right now, kind of debating if I can go or not, and whatever, and I'm like, okay, look, just let me know if you can't go, and he's like, okay, so I'm sitting there, and I'm like, am I really about to book this fucking 15 hour trip by myself? Like, I'm really going to do that. And I was like, I probably could. I don't really want to, but I probably could. Thank God I did not. Um, and then it's nighttime and I'm just assuming Tyler's going because he hasn't answered. And I'm trying to get a hold of him. He wasn't answering. Finally, I get a hold of him and he's like, I'm sorry, I can't go. Which, listen, I'm a canceler sometimes. I mean, I probably wouldn't wait until 10 p.m. the night before, but I will say sometimes I do have to cancel out on things and I'm very bad at making decisions and I'm very indecisive. Literally yesterday on the plane, we had a connecting flight to LA and on our first flight, I was like, I might actually go home when we land and fucking Charlie was like, what the fuck? And I'm like, okay, sorry. So, you know, I can't get too mad about it. I get it. I get it. I'm a little mad. I'm going to act like I'm a little mad. He's probably not watching this, but I've been treating it like I'm a little mad. I'm really not, but it's fine. Um, he bails on me. Doesn't really bail, but he's just like, I can't go. I'm sorry. I'm really busy. Like, I'm stressed out. I can't go. And I'm like, okay. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to drive alone. Whatever. It's fine. And I'm like, I just need to fucking pack my bag right now. So I call Jaden and I'm like, yo, Tyler just said he can't go. Like, I don't really know what to do. And Jaden's like, all right, well, you could fly into Illinois. He's like, why don't you just fly? Don't drive. Jaden's mom was like, don't fucking drive. Like, that's so far. You're a girl. And I'm like, okay, okay. Of course, I'm trying to get a hold of Caden and Creech who live in Nashville because maybe I could drive to them and then they could drive me the rest of the way. Can't get a hold of them. I'm just like, what the fuck do I do? <clears throat> and finally, Jaden's like, okay, you know what? Just fly to me in Ohio. He's like, I live like 20 minutes from the airport. I'll just pick you up in the morning and we'll drive to Illinois together. That way I don't have to drive alone. And I was like, okay, found a flight online. Fucking get, had to leave for the airport at 3 a.m. Didn't even sleep. Get to the airport, check my bag, go in the airport. And then I'm like, fuck. Actually, didn't realize it there. I realized it when I was packing, but that doesn't even matter. I'm packing my bags at like fucking 1.45 in the morning, trying to get all my shit together to get on this flight now. You know, it's different when you're driving a car because I was going to throw all my boots in the back of my car, my mic, all my fucking camera shit. I was just going to throw it all back there. It's fine. Well, now I'm having to pack a fucking bag for it, which I'm not complaining, but it's just different when you're getting on a fucking airplane, especially when I have like all of this shit with me. And um, I'm packing my bag and you know, I normally try and like plan my outfits for stuff like this because I just have no style and I normally just throw on a pair of like Levi shorts and a tank top and then I look at the pictures a week later and I'm like, why did I do that? Why didn't I just fucking spice it up a little bit? So I had planned out outfits and I'm not kidding, made fucking Google slides of my outfits and like what I was ordering and I'm packing my bag and I'm like, oh my God, all the clothes I bought I shipped to Tyler's house in Alabama because they weren't going to make it to me in time. They were going to make it to Alabama at like 12 p.m. the day I was supposed to pick him up. And so I was like, all right, that's fine. I'm just going to get him to his house. And I'm like, oh my God, all my clothes. And they were already there because the plans wound up getting moved to a day later before Tyler had told me he wasn't going. So just whatever. This is making no fucking sense. Long story short, I had fucking sent like $200 worth of Princess Polly clothes to Tyler's house in Alabama. And that's where like all my outfits were for this shit. And believe it or not, I have no fucking clothes. You guys actually can probably notice by me wearing the same fucking thing every three days. I don't buy clothes. I really don't. Maybe I'll buy some shit off Amazon every once in a while, but I just don't care to ever buy clothes because I never dress up to like go out because I have no fucking friends. It's fine. Um, don't really buy clothes. So I'm just shuffling through my fucking closet i'm going through the three fucking trash bags in my room that are full of shit for goodwill and i'm just like what the fuck didn't sleep got in the fucking car went to the airport slept on the airplane shout out american airlines you guys killed it this time most of the time i don't really fuck with y'all but you guys did a good job slept on the plane there slept on the next plane got to ohio this is all vlogged got to ohio Jaden picks me up we go to his house his mom had packed us a fucking lunchbox full of food 
She's the sweetest woman ever. God bless her. We get in the car. We start driving to Illinois. We get to Illinois at nighttime. Caden and Cree had already been at the festival. Um, I don't even know what we did. I think we just ordered food. Went and got in bed. Fell asleep. Woke up the next day. More people were getting there. And basically, the festival was fucking awesome. And let me just say, like, the people who were running it and who invited us... Thank you so much, like, because they just made it such a great experience and were so nice to us, and, like, everyone I met there was super nice. It was a really fun time, and everyone that was there was like, why the fuck? Like, fans that I was meeting were like, Sadie, why are you in Bloomington, Illinois? Like, what are you doing here? And I was like, I don't know, like, the festival just invited us, and we came, and it's honestly really fun. I like Bloomington, it, like, Illinois. It was cool. There was, like, colleges nearby. I will say, I promised a lot of you guys that I would go out to bars, and I didn't. I couldn't make it that far. Um, but, listen to this shit. First fucking night there, I had been drinking, like, all day. There was never a point where I was hammered whatsoever. And then that night, we had gotten back, and I walked inside, and, you know, you know when you, like, get back from the party, and you don't think you're drunk, but then you get back, and you're like, mm, fuck, I'm, like, spinning right now. I, I kind of felt that, but it wasn't bad. I was drinking water went to bed, was awoken by two fucking people getting in bed with me. Didn't really care, actually. The girl was super nice. Um, and I'm like, damn, you know, I kind of feel like I'm going to throw up. And the girl's like, oh, that's the worst. Like, you're probably fine. And then I go back to sleep, wake up, and I'm just like, oof, like, I'm just going to go into the bathroom. Go in the bathroom. There's no fan in the bathroom. And I'm right next to two bedrooms where people are in. And I literally am walking over to the shower to turn it on because I was just like, I'm about to fucking puke my brains out didn't even have to pull trig and i am projectiling into the toilet like i i don't know what did it because that never that like rarely happens it might have been the fact that i had nothing to eat that day maybe but i had been drinking neutrals all day i didn't even know what those were until um this weekend what just happened I didn't even know what those were until this weekend, but I think that's what, like, really killed me. I, you know, I'm just a high noon girl through and through. High noon's just, like, my stomach knows how to handle them, and neutrals, it doesn't. So, um, yeah, won't be drinking those again, but vomited my brains out, went downstairs to try and go back to bed, went and puked my brains out again downstairs, and was like, all right, it's palate time, so... Pulled out, like, four blankets from the living room, a few pillows, and just slept by the toilet and had myself a grand old time. I have to fart really bad. Last night, I farted in my sleep, and it woke me up. <laughs> and I never fart in front of BF, and I was literally laying there, and I was like, do I say something to, like, make this funny, or do I just act like it didn't happen? And then first thing I said when I woke up this morning was, did you hear me fart last night? And he was like, no. I was like, oh, good. <laughs> Anyways. Um, but that happened in Illinois. Then the next night, some kids that were at Auburn Rodeo pulled up. It was just so many people were there. It was fun. Then the last day, Bay came. He was performing that night. And, um... It was so weird because, like, my world and my, like, life and what it is, he's never really seen it just because, like, there's been no times where, like, that was gonna, like, mix. And it did. And it was just kind of, like, weird because it was, like, all my friends that he had never met before. And then, like, they were seeing, like, that side of my life as well. And so it was really cool. I was, like, on cloud nine. I was so happy. It was just, like, I love people and good people. Whoa. And, like, when people... I don't know. I just, like, love introducing people and, like, everyone being friends. It's just, like, my favorite thing ever. So, yeah, that was fun. And then, I don't know. Oh, so I never booked my flight home from Illinois. Like, when I had booked it to Jaden's house to go, I was like, all right, maybe I'll ride back with Jaden to Ohio and fly back home from there. Maybe I'll drive down to Nashville with the boys, be in Nashville for a few days, fly home from there. Maybe I'll wind up going back to L.A. Who knows? I don't know. Um... And yeah, somehow that turned into me fucking winding up in Los Angeles. Charlie was like, just come with me to LA for a few days and then we can figure out what the plan is after that. 
And I don't really know what the plan is right now, but I was just like, you know what? I'm going to go home, and it's actually raining at home right now, so I was like, I follow the sun, and it looks like it's actually getting sunny out, so slay. Ew. Don't let me say that, please. Um, I was like, okay, I'll go. So, got on the plane, came to LA, I'm here, we're here, guys. I really have to poop right now, but I'm not going to, I'm going to finish the episode. But, that is that, and I want to talk a little bit about my, about my break, fuck, my plane mental breakdown. You know what? I always fucking say this. Airplanes are where you're going to like have breakdowns or just a lot of thoughts because there's nothing else you can really fucking do. And I actually wrote a song about that one time because I was like so deep into the thought. But, but, um, I was kind of just like thinking about, and it's so hard because I don't want to talk about this a lot and I don't want this to be like a huge thing. And I don't want to do it because I'm trying to, like, make anyone look bad or anything. But I... Oh, Bailey came to Tailgate's Hall Boys. Guys, the ADHD is so bad. Holy fuck. I was on the plane. And I was like, you know... I know I move with guys a lot. And I'm with guys a lot. And I've ta I talked about it on the last episode. And it's just hard not having like girlfriends because it's just a different dynamic it's such a different dynamic and I was kind of just sitting on the plane and I was like did I even have fun like did I even have fun or was I kind of just like something about the weekend had felt different and it's because normally I would have a girl with me and I wouldn't be like traveling alone and trying to find my way through things to like whatever and I remember like the best day of the event for me was when Bailey was there because it was just like having a girl like being a girl you just want a girlfriend there like it just makes it better like it just makes everything better if I'm going to the bathroom I have someone to go with like it's just little little things just make sense and I didn't have that going into it and I still had a good time but I think on the plane it was like I didn't vlog a ton of it either and I know that's because it's like normally I would have someone else with me to be like we're vlogging and I don't know it just something about it just wasn't the same as how things normally go and that's just life things change and you just have to adapt and like make good out of what's changing and find new things that are better and whatever find the positives versus the negatives and the dwelling like try and take the positive side but I was like when Bailey was there Bailey had came down from Wisconsin for the thing with like her brother and her friend and my most fun day was when she was there because I had like a girl to kind of be with and stuff and yeah I don't know I just kind of, kind of on the plane was like freaking out about like am I even happy like it, it was just so much whatever and um yeah my thing I just kind of wanted to touch on that because it's just like you know has seasons and like things change and you just gotta adapt and be okay with it but guys with that being said, I want to go read some write-ins and um, see what's been going on with y'all because, like I said, it's been a minute. I fucking, like, any time I don't record, even if it's for a week, I procrastinate recording so much, not because I don't want to, just because, like, the getting out the camera, this sounds so lazy, I am a lazy-ass bitch, getting out the camera, making sure the audio sounds good, most of the time I have my mic with me and, like, trying to make sure everything's written out, but then I just come on here and I talk out of my ass and I'm like, this is why I love it, so... I fucking have missed y'all. Um, let's see. What's the date today? It's the 19th. Damn. Y'all write in so much. I love you guys. Oh, really quickly. Someone asked about merch. This phone case, if you're listening on audio, my neon yellow phone case I've had on my phone for like three years that doesn't even fit my phone because this phone case came out before my iPhone even came out. Um, we finally had these coming back into stock. We have a Duck Off case, a Dilf Nation case. I think we're doing IDGAF cases. We have an IDGAF neon orange sweatshirt that's so cute. We're doing a sweatshirt that says fun but dumb. We have Dang I Love Freedom crewnex coming out. That country music and beer crop top is getting put on a sweatshirt or a crew neck. Um, Dilf Nation hats are coming in. We have future MILF hats coming in. We have a future MILF tank top. We have a Dilf tank top. So much shit. We have IDGAF shorts. So much fucking stuff is coming onto the website, and I'm so pumped. Like, this is our summer collection. I wish it could have been released a little bit ago, but, um, you know, I just suck. So, you know, it's like, wherever you are in life, whether you have a job or you're in school 
or fucking, I don't know, you're just always late for shit, me, as fuck. Like, if you are in school, I was always the bitch in school where I wasn't doing my homework until I was fucking on the way there in the car, and even though I had 10 minutes to do it, I was gonna get it done. Same thing with, like, any work shit, always like that. Fucking, I remember my parents were always like, you wait until the last minute to do things, and I was like, am I passing? Do I have an A? Thank you very much. I get it done somehow. Okay, this girl said her topic was friendships. She goes, I'm pretty much the duff designated ugly fat friend, great movie by the way, of my friend group and it's really annoying because it feels like nobody actually wants to be my friend but I can't really do anything about it because I've known them since second grade. I quite honestly was always the duff but I was fucking funny and it made me fit in or no, I didn't fit in. It made me be liked and honestly... I know I got made fun of. I know I wasn't, like, the cute girl. I knew I wasn't gonna, like, get the guys. Um, like, maybe I can find a picture of me. I was just not cute. And all the other girls were, like, blonde with pretty hair and their braces were off and they had tits coming in and I was just the fucking duff. Um, so I think, you know, you're probably not the duff, <laughs> but if you think you are, one, get your head out of that mindset, two, if they're bitches, fuck them. But I'm going to be honest, I dealt with bitches my whole time throughout school. And it's just a thing you have to deal with. Once you, if you can just find one person, maybe two, that you know are like real, um, be okay with that. Because smaller and better is bigger than bigger and shittier. That was good right there. Um, but you know, you never know. Because sometimes you think you find those people and then they just leave again. So, oh my god, guys. This person said, okay, so basically I'm in an elementary friend group and there's seven people in it. If you're in elementary school, please don't listen to this. <laughs> Not being mean, I just feel like I say really bad shit. Okay, this person said, break up. The guy I dated for a year just said, after we broke up, it didn't really affect me, but I don't really know. How do you move on from that? I didn't, she said, bye. I didn't think I could love anyone else like that. How do you move on? Here's my thing. Breakups are the hardest fucking thing. Like it's, and it's so scary because when you're in a relationship with someone, that person most likely like becomes your best friend and they, they do become the person that's like on your mind a lot. And unless you're really fucking independent and just like built that way, like some people can literally get like break up with someone, even though they do love them so much, but they just have that mindset of like, it's fine. Like whatever life moves on not to be like, obviously I am so happy in the relationship I'm in and like love the kid to death and like it would fucking suck if he wasn't in my life anymore but like if something happened I just kind of have that mindset in my head of like it happened for a reason it's fine and like I just have to move on life moves on not saying it wouldn't suck because that shit sucks but I think it's just like for me I'm so like hard on myself and stubborn that I won't let myself get sad about it. Like, I just am like, I'm not like, I need to just fucking deal with it and keep going and move on. Similar to like the friendship thing I talked about, like just going to be completely fucking bold faced, honest right here. Um, the friend I had for a while who did a lot of shit online with me obviously isn't my life anymore. And I don't want any bad blood or any bad things sent either of our ways, but I can confidently say we're not going to be friends again. And, you know, it's like, it's hard. And that's why I talk about it because it's just a weird thing. And it's stuff that a lot of people actually have to deal with, whether it's friends or breakups or I don't know, just cutting things off in your life. And, um, I think the thing you just have to realize is you have to just adapt and that sucks that he said that, but he might just be one of those people where it's like for him, it didn't really affect him that much because I don't know why I'll broke up. I don't know what the reasoning is, but he might just be one of those people that's just very like independent and thinks, you know, I'm just going to figure it out and I'll move on from it. It's fine. I don't know, but I'm sorry. And that sucks. And no, it has nothing to do with you. I'm sure it's just like him. So if you can get that in your head, it's going to be okay. But my love comes your way because that's ass. Oh, this person said, my hair is curly and wavy and I don't know what to do because I don't feel good unless it's straight, but it's so damaged. Please help. Honestly, I wore my hair curly to one of the days of this festival I was at and I was looking at pictures and I was like, 
why the fuck did I think I looked good like that? Like, I look disgusting. Curly hair is so weird, and, like, I feel fat when it's curly sometimes, too, because it's, like, bigger, so I feel bigger. Um, my weird thing is once I wear it curly for, like, four days, I'm like, wait, I like it curly better. So just try and do it here and there, but I feel you, girl. It sucks. Okay, a few months ago, my boyfriend, now my ex, and I were scrolling through his phone. I see a video of a girl's ask and ass, and I literally thought he was cheating on me. I go to the video, and he was really hesitant on letting me go to it, and it was a video of me and him fucking. He recorded us without my consent. I kept that a secret from everyone until one day he randomly broke up with me. When we broke up, I had plenty of people come out to me and say they saw the video of me and him fucking, and I continued to tell... And it... And continue to tell me that you showed a lot of people, and I'm so lost on what to do. Fuck. Mmm. This is, one, beyond fucked up. That's fucking, like, that's so fucked. I don't know how that's, like, even legal. I don't even know if that is. I don't know how old you are either, but... It's, like, a really uncomfortable thing, but if you're close with your parents, definitely go to your parents, because... If they could help, something, I don't know. Maybe even, like, not to be this bitch, but, like, there's got to be someone you can fucking go to if it's, like, really getting out of hand. And let me just say, I know this feeling through and through. I never have had anything of me, like, out on the internet like that. And I, like, there's not anything of me like that just because I've never let that happen that happened to you without you even letting it happen. So, like, this is why I'm going to talk about this, because I hope it makes you feel better. There, obviously, being, like, a known person online, there's people that fucking look like me. And someone can take a video of them doing anything and say they're me or act like they're me. Or someone can take a video of someone else off their OnlyFans account and fucking crop it and put my name on it and say it's me and send it to my brother and have my brother be like, what the fuck is this? Um, and, you know, it's a thing of, like, I know that feeling. Even though it's not me, having everyone believe it is, I'm like, okay, what do I do? Like, I don't want to be portrayed in that way, or I don't want to, like, seem like I did that. And it's like, same thing for you. You never wanted that being filmed. And look, sex is a fucking normal thing. Like, most people do it. I mean, everyone does, like, eventually, I would think. But whatever. Um, like, it's a normal thing, and that's something that you're not comfortable with other people seeing, which I totally get. I'm not either. I would never want that to happen, ever. And him to be doing that is so fucked up. My advice to you would be definitely go to your parents if you can. If not, I don't, like, literally, the, like, maybe the fucking cops i don't fucking know but like there's got to be something that can be done about that i remember in middle school um some of my friends had like their nudes leaked and they were going around the school and like i just remember when I me mean, obviously years later but when i was seeing these things that people genuinely thought were me and i was seeing them and i was like oh that looks nothing like me like i don't fucking care but like having like people in my personal life come to me and be like i'm so sorry this happened to you like whatever i was like oh my god like is this a real fucking thing right now and the feeling was like so bad and so shitty so i feel you girl and i'm sorry um try and do what you can about it but at the end of the day here's the thing that i tell people you know the type of person you are you didn't want that being taken you didn't want that out there and look you were fucking doing something that's normal and that sucks so bad and i'm sorry but just think in 10 years it's probably not going to matter and you're not going to be worried about it so just try and realize that, like, it sucks. Shitty people are going to say shitty things. People that care about you aren't going to judge you for it and aren't going to care. But I'm sorry. That sucks. Funny story, actually, about um, the video of me. That's not fucking real. Um, I know the girl in the video. I, like, always was like, I wonder who that is. Like, what the fuck? And then I, someone was like, Sadie, you know that that's blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, I literally fucking know her. And I, like, DM'd her, and I was like, hey, do you know this is happening? And she was like, no. I actually was going to have her come on my podcast. Um, I don't know if I will, but just because she obviously um, is fine with, like, putting that stuff online. And, like, she's just kind of like, I don't really care. And I was like, it'd be interesting to hear someone's side who, like, doesn't care and just, like, all of that. So maybe I will. I think that'd be kind of interesting. 
but I feel you and that type of shit sucks and it happens to a lot of people not even like that exact situation or my situation but just you're fucking sending nudes to a guy and like you don't think they're gonna go anywhere and like you're just like oh it's fine he wouldn't do that and the next thing you know someone else has them and your heart just sinks into your fucking asshole and my advice to people and the thing I learned when that happened to the people I was friends with in middle school is never fucking let like never let videos be taken or pictures be taken even if it's on like girl phone I'm just like I one I don't really like god this sucks it's literally your fucking it was your boyfriend at the time like that's so fucked up I never first of all to be quite honest and this is like different because I guess I'm in like a different light than some people but anyone I've ever done anything with like sexually I've had signed an NDA which I know sounds crazy but it's because shit like this happens like shit like this happens all the time to people and it's so fucked up um, so that's how I know, like, when anything comes out, it's not me, but I, the advice I would give to, like, girls is just don't, don't even send nudes, like, just don't do it, like, it's, I know it's, like, tempting, and, like, it's, like, fun and whatever, but, like, I, you just have to know that you doing that or you videoing in anything on your fucking phone, you don't know where it's gonna go, you don't know where it's gonna go, who's gonna see it, it's just, like, honestly, you just you never know. So I would say my advice to people who are hearing about this, just don't, it don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it because it's not worth it. But if you are someone who has or who has had that happen, you know that it's fine and you're human and people do that all the fucking time and it sucks and it's annoying, but like, okay, if Adam and Eve didn't eat off the fucking tree, we'd all be walking around naked. So fuck you. You know, it's just like, as hard as it is, you just kind of got to be like, whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. But that's going to be the end of today's episode. I don't know if we're going to have a special guest next week, but I really hope that we do because it'll be really fun. But um, I love you guys so much, and you guys are the best ever, and I'm glad to be back, and we're going to get the audio thing better. And I think the video is going to become better too. Um, I actually... I'm getting some help with all of that. So stay tuned. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon.